Hi, I'm Tiana. And I'm Adrian. And this is Tiana, Tiana and Ace Taste. Taste. And that was Apollo, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and on today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different, and we're going to be doing a getting to know us. Uh, just some questions so that you can get to know us a little bit better. Um, so Apollo may come in and out uh, <laughs> guest appearance through this. Yes. Uh, so first question, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? Right where I live. I live in a seacoast city uh, north of Boston and I just love where I live. I love it. I walk out every day with a smile. Can you? Um, I would definitely do Southern California, probably just outside of San Diego. Um, weather's nice there. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to visit. <laughs> yeah. um, dream vacation. So I would say I have had the pleasure of being able to already go to every place that I really have wanted to visit. Um, so I guess at this point I'd say my dream vacation would be going back to Ireland because I like that so much. I can't wait to go back again. Ah, that's nice. I actually would like to see that sometime. But I've really been itching to go to uh, Italy and I have never had the opportunity and I, I, I hope I do get to. Uh, so what's your pet peeve? Um, I pet, I don't really have like a pet peeve, pet peeve. I, I just, I don't like it when people aren't nice to people and they aren't kind. Uh, I don't know if that's really a pet peeve, but it really bothers me when people kind of like rude, rude to, to someone for no reason. There's never a reason. <laughs> what's yours? <laughs> um, I guess more like traditional pet peeve is like, I can't stand when people make like weird sounds with their mouths or if they're like chewing with their mouth open. Um, just, yeah, I don't like those sounds. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so a little different. So what would, um, what's your proudest accomplishment? Um, mm -hmm. So I would say for myself, my proudest accomplishment was graduating PA school um, and just, you know, finally finishing my education and getting my master's was, was that. Uh -huh. Oh, mine's easy. It would be you and your brother. That would definitely uh, my greatest accomplishment. And, uh, my greatest joy. What your head? No. <laughs> no. Um, what did you want to be when you were small? So for me, I wanted to be a neonatal surgeon. For people who don't know what that is, that surgeons on little tiny babies. No. Um, yeah, that was what it was. I remember, I do. Okay, mine's like a whole other direction. I wanted to be a nun. <laughs> I wanted to be a sister. I went to Catholic school. I was a little influenced there. Yeah, no, definitely didn't go that route. If you could eat one meal forever, what would it be? Oh, I don't know. Um, oh, shoot, a meal. Okay, I get to pick three things or just one thing? Like, I don't know. Uh, okay, like lobster, <laughs> like lobster is like my favorite thing, but I think I would not be full. <laughs> no, that would not sustain me. So I'm thinking like a super great macaroni and cheese, like really good mac and cheese. What's yours? Uh, I would say sushi. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, sushi. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your favorite zoo animal? So mine would have to be a koala. I love them. They are so cute. They're not at all zoos, but they are at most of them. <laughs> uh, they are cute. I like giraffes. I think they're I think they're super interesting and beautiful to look at. And they have these nice faces and the crazy tongue thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Christmas. Um, favorite fast food chain? Oh, that's um, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, Chick Fil A is mine too. Yeah. yeah. Um, is your glass half full or half empty? Oh come on, you tell me. Is my glass half full or is it half empty? I think both of us are half, half full. Half full. Yeah. Um, your favorite subject in school? Math. Yeah, I think mine would probably be math as well. I mean, I liked science, but math math was a little easier for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just yeah. Me too. Um, which of your five senses would you say is the strongest? It is not always a convenient thing, but it's my nose. I 
can smell everything everywhere. Mm -hmm. Let's see it. Mine would have to be my hearing. Uh, same issue though, where you don't want to hear things yeah. back in, uh, but definitely my hearing. Um, what was your first job? So my first job is, well, as moms technically was babysitting, but when you're talking like a real job where you kind of get an actual paycheck, that was, I worked at a bakery and so that, that was my first job. Yeah. I was similar. I was a small like local diner type thing and it was, I was really young and uh, laid on tables. I, was, I think everybody should try that. Uh, once in their life, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Okay, just something chocolate, 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 like chocolate, fudge, brownie, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, definitely, no, I could want some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine would be oh, yeah. chocolate chip cookie dough. Mm. Yeah. And do you like going to the movies or would you prefer watching at home? Not a movie. Oh, I prefer watching at home, but I'm really not a big movie person, um, which if I'm going to watch a movie, I'm going to do it at home. Oh, I told, I love movies. And if I like a movie, I'll watch it more than once. And years ago, I would have wanted to go to the theater for like big productions just to catch it on the big screen. But now I'm thinking home and just as soon watch it at home, get all comfy cozy. The next one's a little, uh, it's a fun one. Um, how old were you with your first celebrity crush and who was it? Okay, I was young, so I was going to Catholic school, so the oldest, I could, could have been like maybe seventh grade or anyway, um, yeah, it was, it was David Cassidy and I, I did this thing where I like, I, I hand wrote all these lyrics to his I Think I Love You song. And I, I brought them up, and when the nun, before the nuns got to where we practice with the, the chorus, the, the choir there, Alan. Anyway, we were, we were all singing. I think I love you until they came, and I got in wicked trouble. Yeah. Okay. So I also am not quite sure exactly how old I was. I'd say maybe like eight or something. But mine was definitely Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> there was the big JTT time frame. Calendar was involved. Um, <laughs> he was cute. <laughs> he still is cute. Just, yeah. Um, a food you can't stand. Lima beans. Oh my gosh. I don't know whoever thought that those were a good thing to eat. And if you like them, I'm sorry. They just, no. <laughs> um, well, I'm a much picky, pickier eater than mom is. Um, even though I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm terrible, but meatloaf pork chops, like, there's a lot of things that are really, I guess, go on, God, meatloaf, oh, no, I can't. Oh, I really good meatloaf for you, really young. No, never. <laughs> um, do you believe in having a five-year plan? So, for me, I would say yes to a certain age and, I guess, extent of your life. So, when you're younger, I think having a five-year plan is a great idea. Um, but then I'd say kind of once you've accomplished most of your like bigger goals that you could do, I don't, I think five years is harder because you don't necessarily need five years at a time. I think you want to kind of live for the moment and live for the future, but not necessarily a five year future. Yeah. Well, I, I've never actually put a time frame on it. So I never ever thought about something in a chunk of five year plan type thinking but I do think it's it's good to set some goals for yourself to shoot for um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that and I I think it's a, a, a fine balance that we try to maintain with living in the moment you know for today tomorrow um, you know I think there's a balance to, to find to be to be met you know yeah um, what qualities do you look for in a partner Okay, well, I would say honesty is like number one in my book. And then I would say um, they need they need to be kind. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a, a thing for me. Um, and driven, you know, like that self-motivated kind of just they can they can get themselves they can light the fire under themselves themselves and be proud, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
I would say my number one would be intelligence. Um, and then second would probably be loyalty. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I think loyalty is there. And then probably, you know, the hardworking, motivated, um, motivated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what personality trait are you most proud of? On yourself. Myself. So I would say, um, probably like my determination. Um, I feel like kind of when I set my mind to something, I will do it. Um, so that I think would be the biggest one. Yeah, I think, um, mine would be, I know loyalty. I'm super loyal. I'm, I'm, I'm there for you. <laughs> you know, just. Yeah. Uh, so the next one is, do you believe in love at first sight? I believe that anything's possible. I, I, I haven't felt that. I, I had instant like, <laughs> I like at first sight. But no, I think uh, anything's possible. I definitely believe in love at first sight. Um, I, it's funny enough, when I was in college, I saw my husband in one of my were like one of the classes that I was in and I told my friend that I was going to date that guy didn't say marry him but <laughs> I, I knew right away that that there was something driving me to him um, so I definitely believe in love at first sight uh, oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could do anything besides what you're doing now career-wise sorry um, what would you do something Totally creative, um, and the arts. Um, I don't know. Like, I, yeah, just it would be a, a creative with my hands type uh, creating. Yeah. So I would say for me, I would do something um, a little bit more artistic as well, I guess, but not physically. Um, more like wedding planning or event planning, or like interior design, something like mm -hmm. that. Do you hit the snooze button or wake up immediately? Okay, I hit the snooze button, but I'm awake when I hit the snooze button. I just want to give myself a moment to wake up. I just get up immediately. <laughs> um, would you, this is a very different one. Um, would you rather be covered in fur or in scales? Fur. Me fur. <laughs> fur. 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 Sure. <laughs> oh, scales. I can't stand that that feeling. No. Um, would you rather have dishes or clothes magically clean themselves? Oh, dishes. For sure. Dishes. Please. Yeah. <laughs> if everything in your house had to be one color, what would you choose? How can you have everything one color? I mean, my walls, my furniture, my floors, everything the same color. So you can't go black. That's what I got out of the question. You can't actually pick a color. Can I pick a color? But shades of. Yes, we, we both read it. At least I read it as, you know, blue is blue, but it doesn't have to be the same shade. So. All right, well, then it would be like grays. Yeah, okay. same. Because I have a lot of gray in my house. Same. So, yeah. Um, would you rather have? Unlimited sushi or unlimited tacos? Uh, uh, sushi. Sushi. For sure. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Just kind of, you know, some really casual, you know, getting to know us questions. Some funny, some a little bit more, you know, in-depth. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed. Yeah, maybe some that you didn't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> If there's anything else you would like to know, though, let us know. A comment and, and ask us. And if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe. We upload every Thursday. And then like this video and, you know, share with others. And, you know, you can tag us on Instagram as well at Tiana and Dave's Taste.